Jacob, our forefather, runs away from his brother Esau. He leaves Israel and he travels to Haran. And the commentaries at the beginning of the Torah portion ask, why is there extra emphasis on the fact that Yaakov left Be'er Sheva? We already know that from last week's Torah portion. It would have been sufficient to say that Yaakov traveled to Haran, and that's enough. And they give a most beautiful explanation. The emphasis is teaching us that Yaakov added so much to Be'er Sheva, to his community, to the entire country. He gave it light and inspiration. He gave it glory and the aura and atmosphere to the extent that when he left, a void was created. That's what the emphasis of Yaakov's exit out of Be'er Sheva is teaching us. It's a powerful lesson for each one of us because God puts us in a particular space, in a particular position, in a community or a country for a reason. We think we made the choice where to live, but ultimately He's the one coordinating things. And the reason He did it was not just because we have what to gain there, but more importantly is because we have what to contribute there. Each one of us is a emissary, a shaliach of God, to give light, inspiration, to add to the glory and the atmosphere in the neighborhood or the workspace or the country in which we live. To the extent that if we were to depart and leave, a void should be created, which hopefully will be filled by somebody else. Each one of us was created for a purpose and a mission. And that purpose and the mission has to stay with us every day of our lives. Shabbat Shalom. Mm-hmm.